It's something most of us have probably complained about, especially if you come downtown to a Cardinals or Blues game. Why does it seem to take forever to get through the stoplights downtown? Today we asked the city if something can be done to speed things up, and our Brendan Morano is live downtown with the answer. Brandon. Mike, you might not like it. The city says when it comes to stoplights, there's not much more that can be done. The stoplights here, like the one on Tucker and Spruce, currently run on timers. I timed this one about five different times today, and it's averaging about a minute and 30 seconds. But the city says that's actually the most efficient way to keep the traffic moving. Let's face it, driving downtown can be a real pain. You just sit there forever. Richard's talking about waiting at red lights. You just get tired of waiting. <laughs> He's obviously not a fan. But you said you sat there. Yeah, like hell, like 20 minutes, literally. And sometimes, you know, you'll just be sitting there and it won't even change. You'll have to run it. <laughs> the city says it does have lights that sense when a car is waiting in some spots, but says for lights like the one on Tucker and Spruce, timers make the most sense. I even had enough time to interview this woman waiting at a red light. I try to avoid it most of the time. <laughs> I do food deliveries, so. Richard tries to avoid downtown too, especially during big crowds. Yeah, the Blues and the Cardinals games, it's, it's, it's wild down here. But for now, the chance of the city streetlight system changing is stuck on red. Now, while it doesn't look like the way the lights work will change anytime soon, the city just did finish up a study and they plan to improve public transportation and including walking and cycling here in downtown. For now, live in downtown, Brandon Morano, five on your side.